Switching gears now, new at 11, a family mourning the loss of a loved one had their grief compounded by an incident at the grave site. While lowering a World War II veteran to his final resting place, the casket tipped over and fell. Ralph Iannotti spoke with the family. Paul Bowers was part of what's known as America's greatest generation. He came of age during the Depression and went off to fight in World War II. He died this week at the age of 93. And here at the Lafayette Memorial Park on Friday, his grieving family was appalled at what happened at the gravesite. The straps that they had, they should have used different equipment to put the casket down into the ground. And what they did, the straps slipped off, my dad's casket went sideways. This casket lowering device was on a nearby truck but was not used. The McCain family believes two young cemetery workers, who they say never apologized about the mishap, both appeared to be inexperienced. It fell on its side into the vault, damaged the casket, cracked the, the lining of the vault. They just flipped it over, pushed it down in, like nothing happened. And we had, we had to actually stop them from doing what they were doing. According to McCain, cemetery workers told the family that they could return in an hour or so to remove the damaged casket from the gravesite. But McCain said he, his son-in-laws and nephews removed the casket themselves, put it in a nearby hearse, and it was brought back to a local funeral home. The funeral director said the casket would be replaced. He told me it was the right thing to do. My dad was a good man. He, he loved everybody. I mean, he should have never been disrespected in that manner. Every time you go to visit the grave, that's all we're going to think about now. In Fayette County, Ralph Iannotti, KDKA News. Well, Lafayette Memorial Park responded late this evening in a statement. A spokesperson blamed an equipment failure. He said that they're also working with the family to reschedule the burial for Monday.